What? There's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out next year that has nothing to do with the 2016 film and everything to do with the original universe? It's directed by Ivan Reitman's son, Jason Reitman. There's already a little minuscule teaser trailer up online that says the new movie's coming out summer 2020 and they're starting production this summer. Could Bill Murray be in it? Dan Aykroyd? Ernie Hudson? Not Harold Ramis. Rest in peace, Harold. But the real question is, is Rick Moranis going to come back? That's really all that matters. Let's watch this teaser trailer and let's talk about this. It's a fucking shit show. What you think you see, what you think you hear, that's what it's about. Mood and atmosphere. No, it's fucking garbage. It's garbage. Mood and atmosphere. Now that I really like. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see. Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Yes, in this video, in case you've been asleep the last 24 hours or so, I want to talk about this new Ghostbusters movie that is coming. It was just announced that a new Ghostbusters movie is moving into production this year for a summer 2020 release date. This is official. This is not like, oh, this could be, no, this is, this is actually happening. There's already a teaser trailer up online, which we will watch together and we'll analyze it together and talk about this. Um, it's going to be directed by Jason Reitman, who is the son of Ivan Reitman, who directed the first two Ghostbusters movies in 1989 and, uh, sorry, in 1984 and 1989. He also directed uh, Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. He's had some hit and um, and misses over the years, but certainly he, he's done some movies that we know and love. And his son, who directed Juno, who directed Up in the Air with Anna Kendrick and George Clooney, he's going to be directing this new Ghostbusters movie. Like, this is legit. This is official. Now, there's no plot yet. There's no announcement of any cast yet, but the feeling surrounding this is that this is essentially, this could be the Ghostbusters 3 that, well, more Dan Aykroyd than anybody, has been wanting and trying to get off the ground for years. Look, Dan Aykroyd has wanted a Ghostbusters 3 forever. Bless you, Dan Aykroyd. But we really don't need one. We didn't need a Ghostbusters 2. And one of the reasons why there has never been a Ghostbusters 3 is because of Bill Murray. He's been one of the primary reasons because Bill Murray didn't want to do it. He did the original. It was a complete story in and of itself. There was really no need to do a sequel, but, but it was one of the highest grossing films that year, hugely successful in 1984, critically and commercially. So they did a sequel. I don't know what took them so long, but they did a sequel in 1989, five years later. Well, that movie wasn't nearly as critically well received and it wasn't nearly as successful at the box office and that certainly put a damper on things but Ivan Reitman was willing to return Dan Aykroyd was willing to return Ernie Hudson was willing to return Harold Ramis was willing to return Bill Murray eh, not so much and he held it because he's like I don't want to do it like it's been done I just don't want this to become my identity essentially um, and he wanted to go off and do other things and and he did um, but that being said, then it got to a point where years had gone by, like 25 years, and Dan Aykroyd was still like, come on, Bill, I got this great idea and I want to do this. And, and, you know, Bill was like, fuck, we're in our 60s now, Dan. No one wants to see a couple of fat, overweight, 60-year-old Ghostbusters running around in a Ghostbuster costume. And I kind of have to admit, nah, it's true. I, I don't want to say that. Um, you know, so I, I kind of side with Bill Murray. Like, early on, it was kind of like, oh, come on, Bill, you know, just one more, maybe complete the trilogy or something. But over the last 10 or 15 years, I'm kind of like, yeah, I totally get it. Like, it's just, it's way past its due date. We don't need it. Nobody wants it. But Dan Aykroyd had been holding out. Then, of course, in 2014, I think, Harold Ramis passed away. And Harold Ramis, of course, played Egon Spengler in the original two films. He was a very accomplished, successful filmmaker and director in his own right, directing uh, Vacation with Chevy Chase, directing Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, an iconic comedy classic from the early 90s. Um, but he was Egon and, and he passed away sadly in 2014. I think he died of a heart attack. So that sort of, that put the nail in the coffin even more of a, of a potential Ghostbusters three. You got Bill Murray saying, no, I don't want to be running around in my sixties, all fat and out of shape in a Ghostbusters costume. And then Harold Ramis dies. And it's kind of like, yeah, this is not yet. and that was sort of the catalyst for the 2016 film. Now I got to admit, I didn't mind the 2016 film all that much. I can hear it now. I can hear the thumbs down now. Oh, come on, Dave, you like the movie? Oh, Dave, it was nothing but feminism and women in our faces and the son of a fucking, fucking, and Melissa McCarthy. She's not funny, Dave. She's just fat. 
just fat, Dave. Fat's not funny. Funny's funny, not fat. And it's like, well, I, I just, I watched the movie objectively for what it was, and I thought it was actually quite entertaining. I think it was completely unnecessary. I thought the marketing was absolutely atrocious. I thought the trailers were absolutely horrible, but I thought the movie was okay. It, it was entertaining. It was completely unnecessary. We don't need a sequel. I kind of hope they don't do one. Um, and obviously they're, they're not now. Um, but I thought it was okay. It, it wasn't a bad movie per se. And you had a very competent director behind it. Paul Feig, the director of Bridesmaids, the director of Spy, the director of The Heat, the director of the sort of surprise hit this past year, A Simple Favor, starring Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively, which was a comedy that kind of had like this little kind of mystery thriller aspect to it. It was actually not bad. It was actually pretty good. So, I mean, he's a very competent filmmaker. So when you look at the film objectively, yeah, it's it's all right. Like it's it's fine. That's how I feel about it anyway. Well, you know what you're talking about. You're fucking. I fucking hate his bullshit. I hate his bullshit. Take it to the bullshit. By all means, have at it in the comment section. Um. So, but yes, am I excited about this? The potential of going back to the roots and the original universe. Absolutely, a hundred percent. This is really interesting. But like I said, we don't have a plot yet. We don't know who's coming back. You know, uh, it's suspected that they, uh, they might be coming back. And of course, is Sigourney Weaver going to come back? Now, I just recently saw Sigourney Weaver at the Voice Arts Awards. I was nominated for a Voice Arts Awards and I attended the show at Warner Brothers Studios in Hollywood and I got to walk the same red carpet as Sigourney Weaver, which was really cool. She looks magnetic. She looks awesome. I mean, she's like 70 years old now. She looks great. She lo she's 10 years older than Jamie Lee Curtis. And she looks just as dynamic and as radiant as Jamie Lee Curtis does. She, 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 she looks great. Sigourney, I don't know what the heck you're... Maybe she's having some of that activia that Jamie Lee Curtis has. I don't know. But uh, she looks fantastic. And she looked great on um, the red carpet as well. So uh, is she going to come back? Come on, Sigourney Weaver. So, you know, we still don't know what the plot's going to be yet. And we don't know for sure yet if Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hudson are indeed returning. We don't know yet. But that's not the real question. The real question is... Is Rick Moranis returning to play Lewis Tully? You can't have a Ghostbusters movie without Rick Moranis. And you can't have a Ghostbusters movie without Sigourney Weaver. Uh, Rick Moranis, of course, has been retired for years. Like, I mean, it might even be 20 years now. Um, or close to it, anyway. 15, maybe. Uh, he's been retired for a long time. And you can't have a Ghostbusters movie in the original universe without good old Canadian Rick Moranis. A lot of Canadians in that movie. Dan Aykroyd is Canadian as well. And Ivan Reitman is a Canadian Slovakian, I think, or whatever. And Jason Reitman is now, of course, a Canadian-American. He was born in uh, Montreal. But, um, but anyway, so that's the question. I'll tell you right now, if Rick Moranis is coming back, if Sigourney Weaver is coming back, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Ernie Hudson, that makes things a little interesting, but I can't help but share the same thoughts as Bill Murray, and it's kind of like nobody really wants to see a bunch of almost 70-year-old fat guys running around in Ghostbuster costumes. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, what is this going to be about? You know, but I'm cautiously optimistic because it's always fun to go home and reminisce with some old friends. I don't know if the movie's going to be good. The movie could be absolute ass and garbage, but they have some competent people attached to it. So we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we will see how it goes. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic with this one. I gotta know more details first. But hey, let's watch that teaser trailer that they did indeed release to basically announce that, yeah, this is really happening. Let's watch it. Ooh. <laughs> it's like Freddy Krueger. Oh, now you hear that? That's totally the original Ghostbusters. I love this camera shot. We're walking up. It's that Panaglide, steady cam moving into this barn on this farm or something. Ooh, it looks like, look like a, one of the proton packs. And there's Ecto 1! And there you go, summer 2020. This shit's really happening. 
Now, this is really interesting. I love the use of the original music. I love the use of the original sound effects, right? That really harkens back to the original Ghostbusters, right? And also, too, if you notice that Ecto-1 has the original Ghostbusters logo on it and not the Ghostbusters 2 logo where the ghost is doing that. Because in the 1989 sequel, that's what they had on the car. If you look at the, the car, they have the ghost logo, but the ghost is doing that. It's actually the logo of the actual film as well. In the actual movie, it's supposed to represent that it's our second chance. We're back. You know, we're back, right? But the actual marketing of the movie, it's like, it's Ghostbusters 2. It's the sequel. So, but that's not what we see here on the car, right? We see the original Ghostbusters logo. So is this a sequel to the original Ghostbusters and they're negating the sequel from 1989, pretending it didn't happen? Hmm. Interesting, right? And if it is, then where is Ecto-1 here? It's on some farm in, in some rural country area. Is If the original cast all does come back, is this Dan Aykroyd's, you know, Ray Stan's farm, right? And they're all long retired and they've gone their separate ways and they haven't, you know, talked to each other in years and maybe shit starts to go down again and the world needs the Ghostbusters. But of course, the Ghostbusters are all fat, old, and out of shape now. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Or maybe they will bring in new blood and they'll be mentoring. It'll be kind of like the old and the new and the uh, passing of the torch. Maybe that's the idea. I have no idea. But who, where is Ecto-1? Whose farm is this? Right? It's just been, kinda, you know, it looks like it's been sitting there for years. Fascinating. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, certainly the original movie. So this is just, it's the nostalgia. It's the kid in me. The movie might be fucking shit. And is this movie necessary? No, it's completely 100% unnecessary. But if it's done well, it's always fun to go home again and have a little revisit and a little reminiscing with some old friends. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. My name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. What did you think of the teaser trailer? What do you think of this idea about doing a Ghostbusters 3? Are you on board, but are you only on board if the original cast returns? Are you only on board if they all return? Are you somebody? No, I need Ernie Hudson. I need Dan Aykroyd. I need Bill Murray. I need Sigourney Weaver. And I need Rick Moranis. Or maybe you just need the original three Ghostbusters. And you're like, I don't give a fuck if Sigourney Weaver or Rick Moranis return at all. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. I would love to know your thoughts about what this all means. What do you guys think about it? My name's Dave McRae. If you want to follow me on Facebook, you can at facebook.com slash many things Dave McRae. That's where I tend to post in the meantime and in between time when I'm not posting here. The link is in the description. If you want to help support the channel each and every month via Patreon and get in on some Patreon goodies, that link is in the description as well. So yeah, comment below and let me know. Whew, interesting. Rick Moranis going to return. <laughs> Cheers.